Hello, in this session we will learn how to use the time series catalog for forecasting. Forecasting is a highly used in the SRS report and stock price forecasting based on the prior year data. This is different from the regression. Time series perform their forecasting value based on their date only. Here is the data set on which we are going to make the forecasting. It contains the data of a number of births on the specific date in the city. It just has a two column date and births. I have added the data for the three years from January 2017 to the December 2019. Let's switch to Visual Studio. Like the previous session, I have created the folder for the session 41 and added this dataset file, created input model. It includes the both column. In the reserve model, we have created the three different properties. All of them represent the float array. Forecasted birth will contain the value that have been forecasted. Confidence lower bound and confidence upper bound contain the minimum and maximum values. Here in the demo class, I have created the context and loaded the data from the CSV file. We need to add the additional NUGET package for adding trainer for the forecasting over the time series. Search for microsoft.ml.timeseries and install it. As our training dataset is a straightforward, we do not need to perform the any kind of pre-processing. So directly create an estimator for the forecasting. Use the forecasting catalog and call the forecast by SSA method. Note that here we do not need to write the trainer here. This is the extension method for the catalog itself, not the trainer. It takes the several parameters. Output column name will be the forecasted birth. Input column name will be births. Confidential level will be 0 0.95. And I pass the name for the confidence lower bound column and confidence upper bound column. Window size represents the size of the window. Here we have three year of data and we will perform the forecasting value based on the year of data. So window size will be the 365. If your data set size is small, then you may forecast based on the month or even week. Series length represents the buffer size that used for the model. We have three years of data. Train size represents the total number of records. It will be same as series length in our case. Horizon specify the number of record that you want to predict. We will predict for the seven days. Here our pipeline is created. Create a model by fitting the train data set. Now it's a time for performing the forecasting. For this we need to use the create time series engine. It's like the prediction engine. We need to specify the both input and the result model. And predict the value. Not that we are forecasting value over the time. So I am not passing the any parameter. There are several overloaded versions of this method exist. We can specify horizon too. Because if we save the model, then we cannot update the horizon value that specify in the estimator. Let's print the value for all forecasted data with the comma separated. As we have seen, time series means forecasting is different from the other training task in the several terms. Such as, here trainer is the extension method of the catalog. Instead of creating the prediction engine, we need to create the time series engine. Like this, there is a different approach for saving the model. 
For this, we use the checkpoint method of the forecast engine and pass the instance of the ML context and name of model that you use for model file. Open the program file, update it for the session 41. See all the files, then run the project. Here we got the forecast value for the 7 days based on the data that we have specified. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Forecasting is used to predict the value based on the time series. We need to install the NUGET package for the time series. Here I have used the forecast by SSA trainer. In trainer specify the various parameter. Window size represents the length of the window that to be created on data. Train size represents the total training data set length. Horizon specify the number of days for which data will be forecasted. Use the create time series engine for creating the time series engine. And to save the model, we need to use the checkpoint method of the time series engine. Stay tuned for the next session.